<clears throat> okay, so uh, now we continue with our uh, task in database. Okay, so over here we are in task A3 now. And over here it says, Medi has collected information about clients and gardening services offered. She has saved the information in the database gardening services. Okay, so you should be having a database called gardening services. Do check your folder. I do have one called gardening services over here. Uh, let me open it up. So over here, it explains the uh, structure of the database. It says the services table includes information about the services offered. The clients table includes information about clients and the services they are interested in. Okay. And the job table includes information about services carried out for clients. Okay. So over here, we have the clients and what services they are interested in. And over here, it has records of the jobs that were done for each client. Okay. The next the structure of each table is given. So you have an understanding of what each field means. So this is the structure for the services table. This is the structure for the clients table. Okay. Uh, so over here, they have explained what it means. If the client is interested in the different types of services, it would say yes or no. And then we have the jobs table. So this is the structure of the jobs table. Okay. Open a new word processing document, set the orientation to landscape, enter task A3, your name, candidate number, and center number in the header. Save the document as task A3. Okay, so let's go into our folder and let's right click new word document. And let's save this as task A3. And uh, over here, let's go into the layout. Okay. And let's set the orientation to landscape. Okay, this was told to us by the uh, past paper. Okay, and then in the header, let's double click and open the header. Over here, we have task A3, your name, your candidate number, and your center number. Okay, so we can close header and footer now as we are done with that. Okay, then the next thing it says is, uh, Medi wants to use a form to add extra services to the services table. Okay. Open the gardening services database, open the services table. Okay, so let's go into our database and open the services table. Okay, and then the past paper says, create a form for the services table. Okay, so let us first create the form and then we'll come and fulfill these. Okay, so we come to create and we come to form. So when we click this, immediately the form is created for us. Okay, the entire form has been created. The thing it says is it should have a suitable title. Okay, so let us change into in the home tab. We have view. Let's go into layout view. This is where you can change colors and the headings and titles and things like that. Simple changes can be done in layout view. Okay, so over here we are supposed to put a suitable title. So shall we come back here? The services table includes information about the services offered. Okay, uh, shall we say? Uh, gardening gardening services offered at TLA, the loan agency. Okay, let's put something like this. This is a much better title, gardening services offered at TLA. Then the question paper goes on to say, it should have fields that are center aligned. Its fields should be center aligned. So this is a field. So I'm going to select all three fields at the same time. So I'm going to press the control key and click on the next one and the next one. Okay, using the control key, I selected all three. And then in the home tab, you have right at the, on the right side, align left, align center. Okay. Then the question paper goes on to say it should have a light green background. Okay, so the form should have a light green background. So for that, we will have to come to form layout design. And sorry, we'll have to come to arrange. No, format and over here shape fill let's select light green okay so over here we have a light green background for our form okay then the question paper goes on to say include a date that updates automatically so they haven't told us where to put it so you're free to put it wherever you want so if you do come into the arrange tab or the form layout tab you do have date and time so let's take it uh, they told us only date, isn't it? They only told us include a date. So let's switch off time. Let's only take date. Let's say, okay. So where is it? It's right now over here. Let's keep it there as it is, not a problem. Okay, perfect. 
uh, let's double click and make sure we said for it to be updated uh, automatically. Yes, the option for update up other automatically is in there. So which means, yeah, let's save them. Okay. Then the question paper goes on to say, save the form as service underscore form. So let's come over here, save and service underscore rm. Okay. So as you can see on the left-hand side, I have my form. If it is not appearing for you, just come and click over here and say you want all access objects visible. Okay. So the moment you do that, then your form will also be visible to you. Then the question paper goes on to say, Take a screenshot of your form in design view and then paste a screenshot into document task A3. So let's change the view. Let's go into design view. Take a screenshot of this print screen. Come to task A3 and control V to paste it. There. Okay. Right. The uh, next thing that needs to be done. It says reset task A3. Do not print at this stage. Okay. Right, moving on to task A3B, moving on to task A3B, it says another service must be added to the list of services offered. Use the service form you created in task A3A to add these details to the services table. Okay, so let's get started with that. Uh, so what we need to do over here is uh, we need to come to our form. Let's come all the way to our form. Where is our form? Okay, our form is over here. And let's change the view. Let's go into form view. This is where we enter data. Okay, let's go into form view. And we need to get a blank form to enter, enter data. Right now, these are the existing forms. Okay, so you can see over here, we have an arrow with a yellow color star. So this is the button you click for a blank record. Okay, so let's click on this and you get a blank record. And now let's uh, enter the details. So service ID is PL1, PL1, services is planting. There's a drop down over here. So let's select planting. Service charge is per hour. Let's take it. Aftercare advice is yes. So let's take it. Discount available is no, so we don't take it. Okay, so once you're done with it, once you have entered it, take a screenshot of the completed form. Okay, so let's come over here, print screen on your keyboard, and then come to Microsoft Word and paste your screenshot. Okay, right. Then it says resave task A3. So we resave it for control S. Do not print at this stage. Now, it's important uh, that you also come and click save over here so that this, these details, oh, I made a mistake over here, capital P, capital L, so that when you click on save, these details will go into your services table. Right now, you cannot see it, but if you close your services table, if you close it, and if you open it again, you would see PL1 has appeared over here, okay? Right. Then it says Medi wants a list of clients that are interested in paying by cash for weekly services that are charged by the hour. Create a query on the client's services and jobs table to produce the list. Okay. Right. So let's get started. Okay. Let us first create the query. Okay. Let's come into our database, create a uh, I prefer query design. Okay. And on the right hand side, I have all three tables. So I'm going to take all three tables. Okay. Right, let's make all the tables properly visible. Okay, so now what are the fields that I have to show? What are the fields I have to show? Show only these fields in this order. So job ID, client ID, and service ID. So job ID, client ID, and service ID. Okay, then the question paper goes. So uh, it should be sorted in ascending order of service ID. Let's do that as well. Ascending order of service ID. So sort ascending okay that's also done uh the next thing that needs to be done is uh now do not forget we have these criterias over here so many wants a list of clients that are interested in paying by cash okay so paying by cash comes inside which field paying by cash comes under the payment method field so we will be taking payment method i double clicked it and took it over here however i will not be showing this field because the past paper did not give me instructions to show it okay over here as you can see 
the past paper did not tell me to show payment method. Okay, so I'll be taking the field, but I will not be showing it. And I need only, uh, what was it? I need those who are interested in paying by cash. Okay, so how do we say paying by cash? Let's go to the services table and so let's go to the clients table. Sorry, payment method comes in the clients table now. So let's go into the clients table and say, how do they say pay by cash? They simply say cash. Okay, so we'll simply copy this word. Control C, copy and control V, paste. Okay, we are only looking for the cash payments. Okay, only those who prefer paying by cash. The next criteria was, uh, weekly services. So weekly services comes in which field? So weekly services comes under frequency of service. If you are not sure, go and check the client's table. Okay. So when you come to the client's table, you can see weekly, one off, monthly, by request. Okay. So weekly services come in, comes in the frequency of service. So let's take that field, but we are not going to be showing it. And our criteria is weekly. Okay, we only want it to be weekly. And the next criteria is charged by the hour. So charged by the hour comes in which field? It comes in, uh, which field does it come? Uh, let's go and check the client's table. So over here, it doesn't mention. So I think it comes in the services table, service charge. Let's check the services table. So yeah, it comes in service charge. Here you get per hour. So we need to take the service charge field. We need to take the service charge field. Okay, and this two, we are not gonna be showing. And we need our criteria is per hour. We're only looking for per hour. I'm just checking, is it per space hour or just per hour one word? It's pay per space hour. Okay, so make sure you get your <clears throat> spellings correct. Per hour, okay, perfect. Uh, then the, anything else? Any other criteria? No, that's it. Uh, so display the ordered and sorted results of the query. Okay, so it's time for us to execute it. It's time for us to run this. So in the query design tab, <clears throat> in the query design tab, you get the run button. So when you click this, these are the results. So these are the results of what? These are the results of clients who are interested in paying by cash for weekly services that are charged by the hour. Okay, right. Uh, so how do we save this then? Take a screenshot of the results, paste a screenshot into document task A3. So let's take a screenshot, print screen. Let's come to Microsoft Word and uh, paste it. And then the past paper says, resave task A3. Okay, resave task A3. Sorry, this one, we resave it. And then it goes on to say, do not print at this stage. Okay, so we have also done this. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, 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 I'm missing something. I'm missing something. I'm supposed to first uh, save the query as cache, which I did not do. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm messing it up. Let me first save this as cache. Okay. Now, when I save it as cache, I'm supposed to take a screenshot of the query design. Okay. So let's go into design view in the home tab. Let's go into design view and let's take a screenshot of this print screen. And let's come into Microsoft Word. Let's delete this screenshot for now and paste the first one that they asked for. Then let's come down. Uh, so we have done this, resave task A3. Let's come back and save it. Then they say display, now this part we have already done. Display the ordered and sorted results. Take a screenshot of the results. Let's do this part now. So let's run it. Take a screenshot of this. Paste this screenshot over here. There you go. And resave task A3, do not print at this stage. Okay. Right. Task, okay. So the next activity, the next activity will uh, do it in our next video. Okay, task A3D, there's just another two more activities on the database. We'll continue it, we'll continue it in our next video.